Uh, Korea was at basically at Bell Labs where, and for those of you who may be too young to know what Bell Labs, Bell Labs was the premier world laboratory at one time. Um, very famous in terms of the number of quantum leaps that it made in technology of the transistor, the laser, um, uh, feedback theory, microphones, and, and, and all came from um, Bell Labs. And I've forgotten what the question was after all that. What's the question again? Oh, what were some of your uh, favorite inventions that either you worked on or that oh, you okay. saw happen right. at Bell Labs? Right, right, all right. Uh, now I know where I was going and, and telling that story. Um, when the uh, Electret microphone gained traction through uh, Sony and other companies that decided to produce it, um, it uh, became, um, or, or it was being integrated into to telecommunications and during that process I began to be known as the first black man to make a substantial contributions to telecommunications. Um, you know, it's all right to be first, but but it's a little bit dangerous uh, to be first also. And um, and I um, was reluctant to accept that first. And so mm -hmm. I began to look at, um, at other black inventors uh, of, uh, that, that I could find. And I, I went to the Schoenberg in New York City, which is about, I think, the best library on black culture and, and contributions. And there I found an inventor by the name of Granville T. Woods. Mm. And what made Granville T. Woods so important, to me at least, in my technology, is that he had a patent on what was called the carbon transmitter. Uh, he met A.G. Bell through Louis Latimer. Mm -hmm. Louis Latimer introduced Granville T. Woods to, to A.G. Bell. And mm -hmm. A.G. Bell purchased Granville T. Woods' this patent. Mm -hmm. And the carbon microphone was the first mass-produced microphone in telephony, mm -hmm. only to be replaced by the electret microphone. So uh, he became my hero because it let me off the hook in terms <laughs> <laughs> of being that, uh, that, that uh, you know, uh, that first out there, and I like to tell that story because um, uh, uh, one of the problems in modern society is that contributions by people out of the mainstream do not get the place in history that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And so I like to put it there. I like to talk about, uh, about uh, um, major contributions by black inventors and and so this is how he became my favorite inventor from from that day. Uh, not my favorite invention but favorite inventor cool you've described this a little bit what was the environment at Bell Labs like I've, I've heard a lot about that from like uh, electronic music <coughs> other than that um, right well Bell Labs is a very unique uh, uh, place um, of all the offers I uh, had Bell Labs offered me less money than anybody else. Hmm. But Bell Labs offered something else that was very important, and that, that is that during the interview process, I met and was able to talk to other minor minority and women scientists hmm. who I wanted to be like when I grew up. So mm -hmm. I figured that you know the best opportunity would be in an environment where I'm not a singleton, mm -hmm. and all the other uh, labs that I've visited, IBM and GE and so forth, uh, I would have been the only one. Now, I, was the, I was the only one in the department I joined, mm -hmm. but there were, uh, there, there were a fair number of underrepresented minority scientists at Bell Laboratories when, when I joined it. Uh, this was one of the uniquenesses of Bell Labs. The other uniqueness is that um, in many uh, institutions, uh, you are pretty much confined to one topic. You know, this is what we're ha we hired you for, this is what you want to work on. Mm -hmm. Well, the attitude at Bell Labs was totally different in that 
all doors were always open and someone from chemistry or from a, a totally di different discipline could come to, to my office and in many instances that turned out to be a, a collaboration, okay? And I think that, that, uh, that for me, those are the two most significant uh, features of Bell Laboratories that I didn't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I came to Hopkins because it resembled, in some respects, Bell Labs more than any other university that I visited. And that is in that there are no stovepipes. That, that collaboration between departments is, is encouraged mm -hmm. and most of us do collaborate with people outside of our, our individual departments.